In today's video, we're going to be looking at one of the most unusual lawn mowers in the entire world. This is a Swordman electric reel mower. And right up front, this mower has a hefty price tag and it isn't going to be for everyone, but it also has some features and produces some of the best stripes you can get. I reviewed the original Electra about two years ago, but this is their latest model. They've put a number of improvements in this, mainly based on customer feedback and some of the issues that they had with the earliest ones. The outside dimensions of the new Electra haven't changed from the original, and it comes in two versions. You can get it in a 22 inch model that you see here, or they also offer it in a 17 inch version. One significant improvement they made was with the reel itself, and this thing does all the work. So fortunately they made the metal thicker, they doubled the number of welds, and they also increased the size of the supports around the blade. And when you're just cutting grass, the reel isn't going to need much extra strength, but occasionally you might hit a rock or a branch, and that thickness is really going to make a difference. And if you've never seen one of these before, the handlebar design is really unique. These handlebars completely control the mower, and because it's electric, everything is done through push button control. They also kept that battery gauge in the center, and operating the mower is pretty easy once you get used to it. The right handle controls activating the cutting reel, and the left is how you move the machine. And this one's even got reverse that you activate by pressing the R. Another major improvement to this model is this handlebar bracket. They put this on because the old ones used to have a little bit of flex when you would tilt the machine in the air to move it. So this was a simple fix that eliminated that problem completely. The main reason anyone buys a machine like this is because they want to cut their lawn ultra short. And this one can be set from negative half inch all the way up to just over an inch and a half. And if you're wondering how this machine could actually cut under an inch, that's because by using other modules such as the dethatch or a verta cutter, you'd actually be cutting below the surface of the grass. Most people will buy a real mower because they want to cut their lawn short and they want to get stripes that look like this. Now you can get good stripes a number of different ways, but I've never seen stripes this clearly done on anything except a real mower. And one of the reasons the Electra does such a good job is it actually has two different rollers. This one in the back is split, and this allows the machine to tilt when it's turning, so this way you can actually turn on a dime without tearing up your lawn at all. That's one of the ways golf courses can use a machine like this to get ultra perfect results, and they don't get any type of divots. Cutting your lawn with a real mower is actually healthy for your grass as well, because real mowers cut the grass kind of like a pair of scissors, where a traditional mower sort of tears it. I made an in-depth video on this explaining the differences that you can see in the upper right hand corner. But there's some other cool benefits to using one of these machines, and that's that you can cut the grass when it's wet or dry. It doesn't make any difference at all. And if you think about golf courses cutting greens, they're going to be always doing that early in the day, long before the grass can ever dry out. Another benefit of this Electra is the noise. This thing is ultra quiet. You could cut your lawn pretty much any time of day, and I don't think anyone would complain. And getting stripes like this is one of the major reasons people will also choose a reel mower. But one advantage of the Swordman is it's the largest consumer reel mower available in the US today. I've reviewed the Allen model, which is a great mower, but unfortunately that only comes in at about a 17 inch size. Anytime you talk about a cordless mower, people always get nervous that they're going to run out of power. Now this thing is rated to cut 15,000 square feet, but in my experience, I think you could go even further. I have about that much grass in my backyard. I cut the entire thing with this Electra, and I still had about half the battery life left. Inside this machine is a lithium iron phosphate battery. They chose a higher end battery that's going to give you a longer amount of life cycles, but they also put a huge battery inside the machine, so you're going to be able to mow for longer. One thing I'm glad they didn't change is they're still using these cassettes. That means you can actually take the reel right out of the mower with just a couple of screws. But you can also replace it with a brush, a verta cutter, or even a dethatcher. When I used this dethatcher on the original model, it was crazy the amount of material I could get out and go around my whole lawn on just a single battery charge. The grass catcher design is still the same. It's made completely out of steel and it just clips on the front with those two hooks. Now personally, I don't use it much because my lawn is just too big, but you could use this to collect any of the grass clippings, or if you use the dethatch, you could catch the debris right in the front of the machine. They also added this stop button. This is the same type you'd see in some commercial equipment, and when you push it, you totally shut the power off from the reel. And just another warning, you're not supposed to take this lid off, but I wanted to show you what goes on inside the machine and what they changed. The Electra uses two different motors to run the machine. The smaller motor on the top drives the reel in the front and it's connected via a belt and that larger motor in the bottom is what spins the actual rollers. Now those rear rollers are what drive the machine forward and backwards. Another improvement is they added this bar in the back of the machine between those rubber wheels. Now those things are called transport wheels because they're used to tilt the machine and run it along pavement when it's not cutting grass. 
And now by adding this bar, they made the machine a lot more rigid and the wheels don't flex at all. And I also like the fact that if you're backing the machine up, you're not going to hit anything directly into the roller. They also said they updated the hardware inside the electronics of the machine and the software itself. But what I noticed is having used both the old one and the new one, this one was much more controllable. Now the left handle is variable, so you can go from a slow speed all the way to the maximum speed you selected. And this new machine just felt smoother and it definitely had a better response. Now for the biggest question on the price, the mower that I tested cost just under $3,000 and that's a huge amount of money for any type of mower, but this one has a real specific use. This is going to be for somebody that wants to cut their lawn under 2 inches and is looking for that golf course type of lawn that you just can't get any other way. And because it's got those two rollers, you're also going to get some of the most visible stripes that you could get from any type of mower on the market. And I would say these improvements definitely made the experience of using this machine a lot better, but they didn't lose any of the good parts of the original model. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.